tonight, it is Donald against Trump, or as they're known by their celebrity couple name, Dump. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentlemen, you know the rules. You say the first thing that comes into your mind, and no matter what it is, your poll numbers go up. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Uh, Donald, first of all, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. And I'd also like to welcome you, Mr. Trump. I wrote The Art of the Deal. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, sir. But in fairness, you have not read it. Donald, let's start with you. Your chief Republican rival, Ted Cruz, has attacked you for skipping tonight's Fox News debate. Do you believe your absence will improve Cruz's chances? I don't think Ted Cruz has a great chance, to be honest with you. He's a nasty guy. Nobody likes him. Nobody in Congress likes him. Nobody likes him anywhere once they get to know him. Okay, so no one, no one likes Ted Cruz. Mr. Trump, a rebuttal. I really do. I'd like Ted Cruz a lot. Okay. All right. Right out of the gate, there's a strong difference of opinion between our one candidate. Okay, uh, the next question is for you, uh, Donald. How do you feel about the people of Iowa and your chances with them? I love Iowa. We've done really well here. All right, fair, fair, very fairly stated. Mr. Trump, your thoughts? How stupid are the people of Iowa? <laughs> we will find out on Monday. <laughs> now, gentlemen, if either of you win this nomination, you're likely to go up against Hillary Clinton. How do you assess her foreign policy experience? Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State in the history of the United States. Worst in history? Huh. Mr. Trump, your thoughts? Hillary Clinton, I think, is a terrific woman. I mean, I'm a little biased because I've known her for years. I think she really works hard, and I think she does a good job, and I like her. That is a strong endorsement of Hillary Clinton <laughs> from Donald Trump. That's got to hurt her in the polls. Now, for this next portion of the debate, uh, we're going to go and take questions from everyday Americans who are watching. Our first one comes from a Megan K who lives in 2011. <laughs> Megan, uh, what is your question? Do you really think that you're a better moderator than I am? No, I could never beat you. That wouldn't even be close. There would be no contest. You have done a great job, by the way, and I mean it. That's a very